In this video, I'm going to show you how to add tax classes, categories, products, and assign photos to those products. It's all really easy to do, so let's go ahead and get started. Once you've logged into your backend, the first place you'll be directed to is your dashboard. Here you can see data like your number of locations, yearly or monthly sales, top items by sales, and so on. What you see here can be customized in the settings. So the first thing you want to do is add a tax class. Go to the left hand side of the screen and hover over the navigation menu. Once that expands, you're going to press items and in the upper right hand corner, you'll see a taxes button. You're going to press that and you'll see that there are three different taxes already set up. These reflect taxes in Maine, so you want to change those according to your state if you're not in Maine. To modify a tax class, press the blue pen icon to the right of the class you want to edit. A window will pop up and here you can change the tax display name, tax percentage, tax type, the tax status, and the tax breakdown. The tax breakdown is for people who operate a business in an area that has their taxes bro uh, broken down by city versus state tax. Once you're done, press save changes. And to add a new class, just press the new tax button up top and add the information. The window looks exactly the same. I'm going to press close and that is how you add or edit and to delete a tax class you just have to press this X right here. All right now let's review how to add a category. You want to add the category before you add a product or products so you don't have to go back and apply it to the new products. So from this page or from the items page press the categories button up top. As you can see, there's already a category um, called Apple, so we're going to add a new one. So press the new category button at the top and in the pop-up window, fill out as much information as you can. Keep in mind that the only, the only thing that's required is the name and description. And if you're in a rush, you can always set the description as the product name. So let's call this category breakfast. I'll type that in, breakfast, breakfast. And I'm going to press save changes. So now that we've created our new category, the next step is to create a product for that category. In the category window, you can press view products or hover over the navigation menu on the left and press items. I'll just go ahead and press view products. As you can see, we have one product called red apple. To add a new one, press the new item button up top and in the pop-up window, fill out as much information as you can. The information that's required for creating a new product is the name, category, tax class, and price. So I am going to call this one eggs. Let's call it scrambled eggs. Scram scrambled eggs. And the category is going to be breakfast. The tax class, I'm going to choose the restaurant sales tax. And let's just say that the scrambled eggs are $3. And here you can add a description for it. Uh, if your POS account is linked to your e-commerce website, I highly recommend adding a description when you first create the product. Otherwise, you're going to have to go back and start that all over again. So let's press Save Changes. And now you have your scrambled eggs. And finally, let's review how to add a photo to a product. As you can see, we have a red apple here for red apple. So if you didn't do it when you first create the item, all you have to do is go to Items. And up top, you see where it says change product picture. You're going to press browse. And it's already in the folder that I need it to be in. So I'm going to select scrambled eggs, double click. And I have a stock folder for that. And I'm going to go ahead and press save changes. And now if you are in the grid view, you'll be able to see uh, that product image. You can change that view. If you don't care much for seeing the images to table, and now you have like you can create like a long list. So yeah, so that's the basic overview of how to add categories, products, images, and tax classes. For more instructions, uh, visit us at docs.acadiapos.com.